Hey guys, what's up? Today in the Brick Lab, we are going to be opening up six Marvel minifigure blind bags. Now, if you watched the other video, then you know I already found the first half of the series, and with this six, hopefully I'll be completing it. Now, I say hopefully because I am felt these out and I'm fairly confident that they have the minifigures I need, but I was feeling them out at my local Kohl's about 15 minutes before they closed, so, you know, it was kind of in a state of last minute panic. But, let's go ahead, open these up, and see what we got. And it looks like our first minifigure is Captain Mary Sue herself, easily the second most overpowered superhero ever. That said, I do like the minifigure's design though, and I could easily see these parts being useful for other custom minifigures, especially the boots here being useful for other Captain America minifigures. I do like the hairpiece a lot more in person than I did in the official images, it just somehow looked really off there, but... It looks pretty cool on her. Um, then looking at the face here, it has some pretty decent prints. We have an angry face on one side and a happy face on the other. And then here we also have some of these uh, new transparent uh, plate pieces to make the Cosmic Cube. Uh, the set um, two were actually used for the Cosmic Cube, and uh, happily there is also an extra, so I guess maybe you could stack it. To, um, but yeah, these pieces are pretty cool, and the minifigure is fairly solid as well. So uh, that said, let's move on. And next up we have Captain Marvel 2.0 herself. I really love the minifigures design here. I know others have criticized it for being too bland, but honestly, if you remove some of the more uh, feminine printing from her torso, this would actually be a pretty good generic uniform for like, I don't know, maybe Starship Troopers or something. But yeah, overall it's a pretty solid minifigure. Also, I love this new hairpiece. It is just absolutely ridiculous and I love it. Um, and then she also has a couple of brand new facial expressions here, which are also pretty cool. Uh, and then there's also this helicopter, which embarrassingly is actually the first time that I've had to consult the instructions that come with a collectible minifigure. So, um, yeah, overall solid minifigure. Let's move on. And next up we have Captain America 2.0. Now I will say I wasn't a huge fan of this minifigure when I first saw him, but the design has really grown on me, especially in person. One thing I especially wasn't a fan of was the hairpiece because it really looks kind of goofy in the official promo images, but having it in hand and on the minifigure, it actually looks pretty good and I will and it does look like it'll be pretty useful for other custom minifigures. Um I also do like these wings a lot more than I thought I would. I, at first I saw them and they just looked like one massive clunky piece, but in person they're actually a lot sleeker than they first appeared. And of course we also have the miniature Redbird jet mounted on the back here, and I just really love this little drone here. If I was a kid I'd definitely be swooching this all around my bedroom. Um, and next up I guess we have the Captain America shield. Really love the new design, it just looks so more refined than any of the other Captain America shields we've gotten. And of course that brings us to the main suit here, and this thing is is absolutely fantastic. The printing on the side, on the front, on this thing. Normally I don't like minifigures that look this detailed, but yeah, I, I think overall it's it's very solid. Definitely, um definitely happy that I actually ended up getting it, that's for sure. And next up we have Zombie Hunter Spider-Man with this random extra head included for some reason. Not sure what kind of violent thing Spider-Man's been doing, but uh, fine. Alright, you got me. I'm kidding. I know this is actually Peter Parker's head. And I, I think it's cool that we finally got dedicated Peter Parker head for the MCU Spider-Man, so that's a plus. Again, this figure is super detailed. We have printing all around here, printing on the sides of the legs and the arms on the head and we have this cool cape as well which I know has probably appeared on uh, which has appeared on the other Doctor Strange minifigures but it's great to get as many of them as we can. Uh, the web piece of course is probably the least exclusive piece to this figure it's come in how many different Spider-Man sets but again I'm not complaining whatever extra accessories Lego wants to throw in these bags I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell him to stop. Uh, which one? Two left which is it gonna be? You know what arbitrarily I'm just gonna go with the one on the right. Yeah, okay, good. And here we have, what if Star-Lord was the most perfect, unrealistic character ever? Well, he'd probably be a pretty terrible character, but the minifigure is super cool, so guess I'm not going to complain about that either. And here we have a brand new Star-Lord helmet design, and that thing is pretty cool. It honestly might be even better than the original Star-Lord helmet design. No offense to poor Peter Quill there. 
And here we have Star-Lord T'Challa armed with his signature silver blasters, which look pretty cool here. He has a great torso design, and I foresee this being useful for many, many other custom minifigures as well. And also, surprisingly enough, he has a new hairpiece design, which when I first saw these minifigures, I originally thought this one was actually the exact same as the one that appears in the Captain America Falcon minifigure, but thankfully it is not. Um, I guess it's unfortunate because this version of Star-Lord could feature an alternate face, but he doesn't, so... There's, there's that sad fact, but on the bright side, we also do have an actual face for Black Panther now. And I also love the legs here. We have the boot jets on the side, and of course, just great design and great printing all around. So, another, yet another solid minifigure in the series. And last up, we have my favorite minifigure from this collection, and the one that I was honestly the most excited for. Again, this is one of those minifigures that looks better in person than it does in the promotional images. I was honestly hoping for a version of Vision that was all white, and unfortunately this version has a lot of gray and silver and weirdly some pink on his abs. I'm not a huge Marvel expert, so maybe there's some sort of relevance to that that I'm missing, but yeah. Overall, it's a pretty solid minifigure. And he also comes with this pretty cool laptop design, which I, re I really would have loved as a kid. It's very secret agent-y and yeah very impressive overall oddly enough this character does have one of the juniors capes i'm not sure why they didn't give him just a standard traditional cape but i'm not complaining because it does hold up because it does hold up pretty well and it does kind of flare out to the back a little bit kind of making it look like he's just sort of drifting through the air kind of i guess like what vision does but yeah again as i've been saying for all these this is definitely a solid minifigure and i will say for this one uh definitely my favorite one out of the series Alright, and I guess while we're here, we can always go ahead and take a look at the collectible minifigure sheet included. I, granted, I already showed it off in the previous video, but if you haven't watched that video yet, well, here it is. Um, front is pretty standard, basically shows off all the 12 of the minifigures that you can collect, and the back is how to put them together. This time, of course, I actually, this sheet actually came in handy because I did need it embarrassingly enough to build the helicopter. So, there, there's that. Probably not the highlight of my building career. But anyway, um, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at some final thoughts. Alright, now that we're done, I guess that means I can finally give my thoughts on the series as a whole since I finally have all 12 of the minifigures. And what can I say? These minifigures are amazing. As I pointed out in the other video, I am not the hugest Marvel fan, but I can still appreciate a pretty good minifigure design when I see one. And, uh, yeah, these minifigures are pretty great. Um, there's, there are some that are a little weaker, like, uh, poor Monica here, who looks, uh, sort of generic, especially compared to the others, but, again, she does have some pretty useful parts, so I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, overall, definitely, uh, very impressed with this series. This is also probably the first collectible minifigure series in a long time where I've gotten every single one of the minifigures, so... Granted, that was partly because I got a box that already had half of the collectible minifigures. Honestly, if I just found these in the store right away, I probably wouldn't have bought maybe Zombie Cap or... I don't know, maybe I would have skipped this version of Spider-Man. Definitely Wanda. And not maybe not Captain America or Captain Carter. So, you know, I probably wouldn't have ended up getting the full uh, retinue here and something, you know? I don't know. You know, I had a coherent point in my head when I started that paragraph, but my brain has kind of wandered, so time to go get some chocolate ice cream, if you know what I'm saying. Final thoughts are that this is a solid series overall, and if you have them nearby, I would definitely get these, because these probably aren't going to last on shelves very long. So, anyway, that's really all I have to say on the subject. Thank you guys for watching it, if you made it this far, and if you've suffered through both of the videos here, I really do appreciate it. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.